at you. It's the Brewman's Mike Russell, Rob Hunter, hanging out with you for all of the love of beer that we have. Mike, I'm so excited about this week's you beer. I'm fired up about this. This is the Dogfish Head 120 Minute IP. No, 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 I've had the 120. No, I haven't. I've had the 60 and the 90. And I'm a fan of the 60 more than the 90. You would think 90 is better. Are you think? Over there? No, I'm very excited to try this because rubbing it on your beard. I know. What am I doing? Yeah, Why am I doing, doing that? that? Seriously. This is what you have. This is like you get closer to the brewmaster. Because all brewmasters, good brewmasters have beards. That's what this is. I just yes, feel closer all to the brewmasters. Have beards. Can you tell what this is? This is yeah. the 120 minute IPA right here. And right here it says it ages well. Oh. Oh. So we're no. not drinking though? We should wait. Here we should. Yeah, you're right. We should wait. Let's get comfortable. And I think we're good. Let's try this 120 minute IPA. I like them. You know what I like? I like this. Look at this. Let me zoom in on that. I love the cap. The cap is going to be saved. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, Mike. I'm a little nervous about trying this beer because it's been so built up for me. This supposedly, people oh, told me. I've been built up for you. Be real. Be real? Yeah. Because people, IPA people that I know, hop heads that I know, yeah. said this is like the best going to knock your socks off. And? Your hop socks off. And? Up. And what? Because it was expensive. There's $12 for this beer! <laughs> $12? I had, to go, I had to go to a special, like, you know, what do they call it? Like, revealing. So a place in Tempe, Arizona, it's like, we were having, they had an event. They created okay. an event on Facebook, and I was like, I have to get a lot. So I went down to Tempe, and I went to go get one, and I was like, it's $12. I mean, I knew it was pricing for a bottle. For one bottle of beer, $12. So this better be good. Because we tried that $5 bottle of beer, that uh, San Bernardino. San Bernardino. San Bernardino. It wasn't worth the money, in my opinion. Nope. It wasn't money. So this, I'm nervous. I'm literally nervous. I'm a little nervous. nervous. Going there. Okay, we're doing it's pretty even. It's pretty good. So here we go. Let's see. Why you gotta drink it first? Oh, sorry. Why you gotta drink it first? Yeah, right. All right, well, here we go. The 120 minute IPA Dogfish Head Brewery, one of the best breweries out there. Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, of all places. Rehoboth Beach? Rehoboth. Did I say Rehoboth? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. The beach in Delaware. Hi, I'm in Delaware. At least make good beer in Delaware in one place. <laughs> I'm in Delaware. <laughs> Did you get the reference? Cheers. Yes. yes. All right, here we go. What's the smell? I hate smelling yeah. beer. No, this is good. not an IPA that I'm used to. This is like a this is like a red IPA, but it's not a red IPA. It's got the, it's got that balance. It's got that it's got that uh, the sugary notes to it. Like really caramely. It's got a this lot of sugar. Yeah, this is balance. When you talk about balance, this is balance. I thought it was gonna be like hot, it's gonna kick you in the face. Mm -hmm. Not so much. It's hoppy, but you have it like you drink it, you're like, ooh, it tastes good. It's caramely. Oh, there's that little sugary part you're talking about. Then the kind of hops kind of hanging around, like right now. I'm like, yeah, like a little lingering hops. I like it when you linger hops. I like it. <laughs> I'm just saying this. I love I love perfect balance, and we've talked about the Pliny's, the Pliny's tomato tomato in the past here's the deal this is a little sweeter than I want it to be though this is a little sweeter than I want it to be. the balance isn't quite balanced like I want it to be it's a little sweeter than this hoppy okay and I like hoppy more than sweet this is more sweet than hoppy I would agree I thought it would be hop because it supposedly comes in right around 120 IBUs which is probably as high as you can get or at least as high we've seen. Yeah. This doesn't taste like 100. Now, it differs batch per batch because they only make this a couple of times a year. And each batch comes out a little bit different. I, at least that's what I'm told. That's what I'm reading. So I would agree that part is a little bit disappointing. But I am I am down with it. I don't know if it's worth $12 a bottle. At least this particular bottle is pretty good. I think it is worth $12 a bottle. And the reason why is this is a sipping beer. This is what this is. This is something that you have. This is before bed. This is an after dinner. This is a just hang out. Have a sip of this. Man. This isn't pound this beer one at a time. Yeah. Take the twelve pack. This is a sipping beer. I'm not. I'm not mad at this at all. It's a very, very good beer. I was just surprised when I see a 120 minute IPA and mm -hmm. I see it's the high IBUs. I get excited. Yeah. It's a little sweeter than I wanted it to be. Yeah, because that hops don't just like 
it's not like split obvious. your tongue and have yeah. hops. Which I expect, which I thought, which I want. Yep, I agree with you on that. But I've had three sips. Each sip's a little better than the last. It is, and, and that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, if it's a sipping beer, this is something that you can have one bottle a night mm -hmm. and be pretty satisfied, and, and you know, call well, it a day. Because let's be honest, if you buy a case of these at twelve dollars a bottle, twelve that's that's expensive. Twelve pack, hundred forty five bucks. Yeah, yeah, no. We don't and you have the tax. So one's good. So let's rate this bad boy. So this is the coveted 120 minute IPA. It's one of the rarer beers out there. Probably not quite as rare as Pliny the Younger. Yeah, because that's rarest, like the yeah. rarest beer. Pliny the Elder is probably in that category. I think they make it twice a year. You got to know where they're shipping it. But I think Dogfish Head probably has a bigger imprint as far as shipping it across the country than the Pliny beers do. Yes. Can we rate it and yes. by shipping channels? Let's rate it yeah. uh, based on the shipping channels. Based on, I, look, as far as an IPA is concerned, as far as a higher end IPA is concerned, I, I like it. Once again, it's a little sweeter than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. I'm a little disappointed in the sweetness, but I wanted the 100 and some odd IP, IPA. This is like, like the one. Walter Payton of IPAs. Sweetness. Yes, it is the sweetness <laughs> of IPAs. So for that, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a seven because it's really okay. good. It's good, but it's not what I want. I'm gonna give it one more sip before I rate it. I'm gonna give it a smell because it doesn't even smell that hot. Because like, you know, sometimes those beers you get they're like super hot. It you smell sweet. it does. It it smells smell sort of caramel and yeah, it smells sugary. Yeah, yeah. if you love the sugary yeah, stuff, I love how much sugar yeah. smell beer. Mm. I'm gonna give it an eight because it's not what I expected. It's very good. If you get a chance to buy it, buy it. If you got 12 bucks sitting around, you probably got it in your couch. Just take out the change, you'll be fine. 12 bucks. So you're a seven on the barometer. I'm an eight on the barometer. So yeah. we're saying 120 minute IPA, in part based on expectations, in part based on that 120 IBU, not tasting that, at least at the moment. So that gives us a seven and a half. Seven and a half. There we go. So that's worth buying on the barometer scale from the Brewmance. If you have one, let us know what you think. If you've had it, comment below. Let us know what's up. Also, you can follow us on the Facebook at the Brewmance. Yeah, right down there. Right down there. Not you up there. You love. Now, now at the Brewmance on Facebook. He's Mike Russell. I'm Rob Hunter. We're also on Twitter at the Brewmance and on the Instagram at the underscore Brewmance. Check us out. We'll be back with more reviews and more shenanigans later. <laughs>